I am in the process of becoming vegged out. Now what that means is I am implementing a whole food, plant-based diet into my life to help reclaim my health, get more energy, feel good in my body, and also help with my anxiety. Um, it is proven that eating a diet more in whole foods and less in packaged, processed, chemically foods can help achieve the way you wanna feel and improve um, anxiety, depression, and all of that. I am currently lacto-ovo vegetarian. I am transitioning into veganism one day, but I'm letting my body do the talking and she can tell me when she's ready for what. But I am an aspiring vegan. So I do use some um, dairy products in my foods sometimes if I feel that's what I need at that time. Um, but I've also been dabbling with a lot more vegan recipes and um, just watching a recipe come together with all whole foods and it tastes wonderful is pretty exciting. So with all of that being said, I am just going to take you guys on family taco night tonight and show you what it looks like to be a vegetarian in a house full of meat eaters. Now the difference is, um, and I can't even act like this is a normal part of our day because it's not. We are introducing something new. Um, my husband said he wants to eat the things that I eat for a week, so he's going to try this with me as well. But I did get barbecue flavored jackfruit. Now, Midwest Foodie Girl on Instagram, I got the inspiration from her. I've seen it in the stores, but she's helped given me the courage to take the plunge. Um, she tried it last week and she put it on tacos and she said it was actually pretty good. So, we are going to be trying that tonight. Um, oh, let me take that back. We're not doing tacos, we're doing tostadas. But it is Taco Tuesday, so there's that. So, I'm gonna take you along with me while we do family taco night and just kinda show you what I've been doing um, being a vegetarian and still cooking meat and serving meat to my family. And I'll let you know what we think of jackfruit, so. Hold on tight, it's gonna be a ride. So I just wanted to show you what I have going so far. This is going to be the bulk of our tostadas. And I don't have as many veggies as I wanted to. So usually you can just pile them high with peppers and tomatoes and all that, but I digress. So this is, I don't know if it'll be enough for all of us, but this is about four cans of just these Bush's Pinto beans. And I seasoned them up with some adobo, chili powder, cumin, onion powder, garlic. I think that's it. And I'm just gonna let them boil. I used the liquid in the can too. But I'm just gonna let them boil and cook a little bit, maybe add some vegetable broth. And then I'm just going to mash them with my potato masher. Kind of make my version of uh, refried beans, but there won't be any lard in it and there won't be any yucky stuff. So that'll be it. I made them last week and they were actually really, really good. So that'll be the base of our tostada. And then in here, I have some rice cooking with some, um, just with, excuse my mess, just with some salsa and a few of the same seasonings that I put in here. So now I'm going to get some ground beef going and some jackfruit going. Oh, and I have got some corn, ooh, some corn roasting in the oven there. So, should be good. I'll check back in in a little bit and show you what else we got going. Okay, so here's the finished product. This one is actually my jackfruit tostada. I did decide to go for a cheese and sour cream because it's tostadas and that's yummy. Um, so there's the jackfruit. I tasted it on its own and it's pretty good. The texture is nice. Doesn't give me any weird fake meat feeling, but it is a whole food, so that's good. Then I just have some beans and salsa and then all the toppings on this. I have some roasted corn, not fully elote style, but I just put the seasonings on it and then I have some rice. So yeah, I'm about to dig in and I'll let you know what I think about the jackfruit. All right, so final verdict on jackfruit. It was actually really good. I tried breaking up the pieces as much as I could, but there are still some thick ones in there. So texturally, a little strange. But when it's really shredded up, um, I mean, it really can pass as pulled pork or taco meat or whatever. It was really, really, really good. I was pleasantly surprised. 
So I had a couple tostadas with some jackfruit on it and then one with just beans. Um, of course, my beans thickened up perfectly by the time we were done eating, but you know, I'm still learning. Also, I don't think I showed you guys. Um, I had all that, you know, I had the beans, the jackfruit, the rice. We had all of our taco toppings. Um, and then I just cooked up some ground beef and seasoned it just with the same kind of seasonings I put in the beans. So like chili powder, cumin, garlic, onion, maybe a little adobo. Let them kind of simmer down with some water. And then I just had that on the side for the, for the kids or anyone that really wanted it. Um, although my husband ate beans and jackfruit and really, really liked it. So that's awesome. Uh, so yeah, all in all, tostada night was a success. It was delicious. Our bellies are full. We do have leftovers of beans, so that's awesome. And yeah, so we've got another recipe for the repertoire and it was mwah. So thank you guys for watching. Don't be afraid to, don't be afraid to try jackfruit. And until next time, I send you peace, love, and veggies. Bye. Wait, I forgot an important thing. If you liked what you watched today and you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. Okay, bye for real now.